Hey everyone, it's Charlotte from the Kia Hyundai channel and welcome back. Today we're at Tan and & Glow and we're getting our hair all done and ready for today's live video. But this is a car review channel, so it's power out for this blowout. I don't think we can finish the blowout. Hmm, that's a problem. Wait, <laughs> I've got an idea. This is the job for the Kia EV9. Now, luckily, we drove our EV9 today, which supports interior and exterior vehicle to load charging, which allows for bi-directional charging. So theoretically, we can power the salon with this vehicle. Now, before we save the day, we just want to make sure that we'll still have enough range to get home. So we're going to go to the EV menu on our car, and then this charge icon here, and then electricity use settings. From here, you can set the max percentage you would like your vehicle to power other devices until. So right now I have it set to 50, which means my car will not go lower than 50% battery charge. Now, luckily, I never leave home without my all-weather extension cord, so obviously I'm using that today. But to use the exterior adapter, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna plug it into the port. You can see it's just a regular AC port. So for your household devices, and then what you're gonna do is give it a little squeeze and it's gonna click in. And then before we hop back in the salon, let's take a look inside the car. You can see your gauge cluster says transferring vehicle to load and we have our time remaining. So right now we don't have anything plugged in, but there's about 44 hours and 53 minutes of power supply until the vehicle reaches 50%. So again, if I set my state of charge to even lower, you could power devices for a long period of time. It's saying zero kilowatts because again, there's no power transfer yet, but let's see what happens when we plug in the blow dryer. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Let's see if we can get this done. That way we're ready for the live video. So plugging in the station here. Ah! And we're back in business with power, baby. <sighs> and all is right in the world again. We're gonna head back to the Brantford Kia studio now with our new hairdo, and we're gonna talk a little bit about, a little bit more about what V2L is and what are some of the limitations with it. So we'll see you there. Well, we got our hair done and just in time for our live video, mm -hmm. but in all seriousness, let's talk a little bit more about what is V2L. So vehicle to load or V2L is a great function that we find on a lot of our Kia, Hyundai and Genesis vehicles. Essentially, it's bi-directional charging that is sourced from the vehicle's hard, I was supposed to say hardware, um, <laughs> high voltage battery, high voltage battery itself. So when your vehicle is not in use and you're not driving it, that energy is just sitting doing nothing. If you're someone who does a lot of outdoorsy things, maybe you operate a lot of tools, do a lot of yard work, or maybe you just like to go camping, you can actually utilize that extra energy to power other devices, appliances, whatever you want really. So I've had quite a bit of personal experience with vehicle to load with camping. I've taken our EV9 and our EV6 camping before, and both times I had a ton of fun with the vehicle. Super easy to use because mm -hmm. you can actually set the discharge amount like I showed earlier in the video. So if you know you need at least 200 kilometers to get back home the next day, you can have your vehicle set its cutoff to let's say maybe 70%, 60%, and then it won't drop down any further. So the vehicle will cut off power. But here's another thing you could do, Charlotte. So real world example, I took an EV9 home and I got it completely covered with sand. It was absolutely disgusting. And I didn't have a extension cable or a cord that was long enough to plug it in. You mean you didn't bring your, you know, your multi-purpose all-weather extension cord? You don't keep that on hand no, with you? No, I don't Oh, okay, actually. I guess that's just me. <laughs> but I did have a shop vac. Unfortunately, the cord was not long enough to plug into the garage at home, so I plugged it into the internal vehicle to load mm. port of the car, and I could shop vac the vehicle from inside the vehicle using the vehicle's power. And it was honestly, it just worked out perfectly. So little things like that, you never really think you might use it until you use it and then you're kind of really and then you're impressed and you think it's really cool and then you're going to keep finding other ways to use it yeah absolutely now, with that being said is there are a couple limitations where mm -hmm. it's really only meant for household devices yes so things that are a little bit smaller anything that can plug into your regular household outlet uh, is what you're going to want to use it for it's not for higher voltage things say like a washing machine or a dryer yep. <laughs> stuff like that definitely don't use vehicle to load for because that's not quite for its intended purpose but mm -hmm. any of your regular household electronics have fun with it. You certainly can. Um, another thing we've done at our dealership is host an EV infotainment or info night <laughs> where we just went over a bunch of EV ownership tips, tricks, and talked about service as well too. And with that, we actually powered our signage with an EV9. Mm -hmm. So things like that. It doesn't drain the battery quite quickly, but again, that's going to vary on 
what you're plugging in. You can plug in inflator kits to do kayaks, seriously anything really, even griddles. You can seriously live out of your car. There's also a hidden little feature, we'll say hidden for right now, called mm -hmm. utility mode on the EV9. But of mm -hmm. course, we've got a video coming on that. So we're yes. going to give you a little bit of a teaser as to that's coming down the pipeline. Mm -hmm. But if you guys haven't already, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the Kia Hyundai channel. And let us know if there's something you want to see us power next with Vehicle to Load. See ya. Bye.